Good day to you, beautiful people. I welcome you to yet another opportunity to learn something new on the e-learning platform of Scholars Educational Broadcast. For the benefit of our new students, subscribers and viewers or if this is the very first time you are joining us on this platform, this is Scholars Educational Broadcast, the e-learning platform of Scholars Private College. Akure, Nigeria. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel, Scholars Private College Akure YouTube, to access our educational videos free of charge, to improve on your learning capacity. Also, our online resource center on www.scholarscollege.ng is stocked with educational materials such as e-lesson notes, e-library, online computer-based test, educational videos, educational games and so on and so forth. To make learning easy, fun and interesting to our teaming subscribers. Our resources cover the syllabus of kindergarten and nursery classes, primary 1 to 6 classes, junior secondary 1 to 3 classes and senior secondary 1 to 3 classes. We engage the expertise, creativity and intuition of our intelligent workforce to provide refined training with students' active participation methodologies to our students, subscribers and viewers. Please subscribe to our channel, by so doing, you will be notified each time we upload new videos. Do you want our new videos to pop up on your timeline always? Then like our Facebook page, Scholars Private College Facebook page, and you can be rest assured that you will receive notifications whenever we'll upload new video. The topic of our lesson today is the control of pest and parasites in farm animals. Can you all repeat after me? The control of pest and parasites in farm animals. Good. Let me begin with the meaning of pest and parasite. I know that you can define pest and parasite. Yes, you can. But for the purpose of this lesson, listening to the definition of pest and parasite, Pests are destructive insects or other animals that attack crops, food, live stocks and so on and so forth. They are organisms that destroy farm crops and cause damages to farm animals. While Parasites are organisms which live in or on other organisms, its host, and benefit by deriving at the other's expense. In other way round. It is any organism that lives in or on the body of another organism from which it derives its food and the process of feeding, causing injury to the animal, its host. Farm animals are exposed to diseases and pests which include animal parasites as a result of the environment and the methods adopted by the owner of the animal farm. Meaning of Control of Pests Pest control is the regulation or management of a species defined as pest, a member of the animal kingdom that impacts adversely on human activities. It is to limit and destroy the spread of pests in farm animals. How pests and parasites spread in farm? Animal parasites spread so fast because they produce large quantities of eggs daily inside the animals, these eggs come out of the animals through their feces. These eggs develop into matured worms, when taken by other animals through contaminated food and water, they get infected. Classification of farm animals parasite 1. Ectoparasite or external parasite, they are parasites that live on the body of animals. Examples are ticks, lice, mites etc. 2. Endoparasite or internal parasite they are parasites that live inside the body of another animals. Examples are tapeworm, liver fluke and roundworm etc. How Parasites Spread Both ectoparasites and endoparasites can be spread through the following ways. 1. Parasites spread through direct contact with material contaminated with discharge from lesion, injury. 2. They spread through other infected materials like urine, feces, milk etc. 3. 
parasites spread through overcrowding. 4. They spread through breathing in air contaminated with germs. 5. Parasites spread through the dirty environment. Methods of controlling ectoparasite ticks, lice and fleas can be controlled by 1. Dipping of animals in a solution of appropriate chemical insecticides to kill the ticks and mites. 2. Spraying appropriate insecticide on the host animals to kill the parasite. 3. Fumigate the animal houses and surroundings with insecticides. 4. Dusting the animals with DDT to kill a parasite. 5. Good sanitation of farm animals' houses on daily basis. Methods of controlling endoparasites. 1. Endoparasites are controlled by maintain high level of sanitation. 2. Endoparasites are controlled by deworming the farm animal periodically. 3. Endoparasites are controlled by disinfecting the farm houses. 4. They can also be controlled by spraying the infected area with chemicals to kill the snails so as to control liver fluke. 5. They can be controlled by clearing the vegetation along the streams, ponds and lakes. Please write your text here.